What's up, everybody? This is the last Slay Sunday Spooky Edition. It's crazy that it's the last weekend in October. But anyway, so I decided for this week to do a half and half face, half regular, and half jack-o'-lantern. So right now I'm going in with the normal side of my face, and I'm just going in with my Maybelline Superstay Foundation. Next, I'm going in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and I'm just putting that under my eye and on my forehead and my chin. Well, try by your house, and if the lights are all down, and I'll see who's around. Next, just to set my concealer, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Contour and Highlight Duo in the Caramel Toffee shade, and I'm going in with that banana powder to set my concealer. Now I'm just going in with that contour shade in that duo, and I am contouring the side of my face. Now for my brow, I'm just going in with my e.l.f. brow kit and just using that powder shade to put over my brow. And for highlight, I'm taking my Pro Fusion Illuminizer 2 palette and I'm just going in with that shade on the end there, that more golden shade, and I am highlighting my cheekbone. My eyes, I'm just doing something really basic, really simple. I'm just taking that Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and going with that brown shade. And I'm just taking my e.l.f. crease brush and literally just putting that all over my crease. And that's all I'm doing. So that's it for the eye. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. black gel liner. Um, I did a thick wing today since it was a simple eye and I also used my Maybelline cat eye mascara. And so for the lip, I'm just going in with Whirl by MAC uh, since that's a very nude, neutral shade for me. So I'm just doing that on that side of my mouth. <laughs> and that takes care of the regular side of my face. So I'm happy with that, very natural look. But now it's time for the fun part. So I'm going in with the jack-o'-lantern side. So I am uh, looking at some reference photos just to kind of get an idea of what I wanna do. Um, but I'm going to go in with my Saharan palette by Juvia's Place and i'm going to go in with that black shade that i have been using i feel like this whole series <laughs> Get you one way or another. I'm gonna see you. 
So what I'm doing right now, I'm using that black shade and I am just kind of creating um, the eye socket um, in the jack-o'-lantern. So basically it's just going to be completely black where that is. Now that I've outlined and shaded that area, just to kind of clean up the edges, I'm taking that Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette again, and that black shade again, just to trace, um, kind of outline, trace the outline of my eye socket. Now I'm just going in with my pumpkin nose. <laughs> I'm going in with my nose. I'm just gonna um, just kind of make a little like triangle on that side of my face um, to give the effect that I want. Now I'm going in, um, back in with that Zulu palette and I'm using that orange shade and I'm going to put that all over that side of my face as the base. I realized that using that eyeshadow brush was going to take me far too long so I decided to get a powder brush instead um, to use uh, to just speed up the process and it was much easier. <laughs> Gonna meet you, meet you one day, maybe next week. Gonna meet you, 
And just to be extra, I decided to blend a little bit of the orange down my neck as well. back in with the Saharan palette with that black shade and I'm taking my angled elf brush and I'm going to start creating the lines down my face. And this part was really challenging for me just to really try and create a seamless line down my entire face and neck. So some of them, you know, didn't turn out as clean as I probably would have liked. But, you know, I was still happy with the end result. So don't stress if it's not perfect. Now I'm going back in with that Anastasia lip palette and I am going to do my mouth. Um, so you know how jack-o'-lanterns have the, the like rigid teeth or whatever, so I tried to create that with the black shade in the lip palette. So to get the effect that I wanted for those teeth, I, you know, created the like smile line going up my face and then I used, I pretty much just did a bunch of triangles on um, each side of the line I made uh, to give the effect of the pointy rigid teeth. Now to finish out this side of my mouth, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in black, and I am putting that over that side of my lips. Once again, a bitch was proud. She was feeling herself. Um, so yeah, that finishes up that side of my face. I'm just going in with just some last little touches. Um, yeah, just finishing it up. I'm gonna add some lashes and we'll be done.
So now I'm going in with my Ardell Double Up Lashes, the same that I used last week. And yeah, that completes the look. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Like I was very proud of myself. Um, I really pushed my creativity and I pushed my limits. Um, and I, I'm happy with the result, you know? Uh, there were parts when I was going through it and I was like, oh girl, I don't know how this is about to end, but I'm happy. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video as well. And that completes Slay Sunday Spooky Edition. I hope you guys have a great Halloween on Thursday. Bye.